Hello, everyone. Welcome to Free Write Friday. Uh, my name is Jessica Lynn Johnson, for those of you who don't know me. And um, I am the founder and CEO of Soaring Solo Studios, uh, which is a company that is dedicated to producing, uh, directing, developing solo theater. And um, my partner in solo crime is Heather Dowling. And um, she's an award-winning solo artist, teacher, director, all of that as well. So uh, the two of us are Soaring Solo and we have clients all over the world, Africa, Canada, Mexico, um, all over the US and uh, we just love what we get to do. And uh, me personally, I have uh, directed and developed over 150 solo shows at this point. It is my passion. Um, I'm a solo artist myself. I toured for over 13 years with both of my solo shows and have ideas and some scribblings uh, for a third solo show. Um, I am also a blogger for NoHo Arts. Um, I write a blog called Soaring Solo, and it has all kinds of tips for solo artists. And um, I'm on the advisory board with the Los Angeles Women's Theater Festival. And yeah, that's a little bit about me. So I'd love to hear about you. Please say hi in the chat. Uh, let me know where you're tuning in from um, and just uh, whatever you want to share about your, your solo theater journey. And so the uh, purpose of Free Write Friday is just to give us accountability and support and hopefully some inspiration to get some writing done uh, together um, and make some progress on your solo shows. And it typically only takes about 20 or 30 minutes for this whole experience. So it's a little bit of little time investment and you get a lot of, a lot of great results. And um, every Free Write Friday is designed to stand alone and be its own entity. However, um, if you want to go back and look at the previous Free Write Fridays, um, I have many of them on my YouTube channel, and I'll, I'll put the link for my YouTube channel in the chat later, along with some other announcements. Um, so feel free if that serves you to go back and, and watch all of those. Um, okay, and I don't do Q&A really um, in, in Free Write Friday. That's not really what this space is for. But if anything does come up that um, you have questions about, just uh, pop me an email at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com and I will get to it as soon as I can. Okay, so, um, excuse me, I need a sip of coffee. All right, so we've been looking at Save the Cat, uh, which is by Blake Snyder, who is a Hollywood uh, screenplay writer. And um, we're looking at his, his structure in Save the Cat through the lens of solo theater. We've been looking at this book for, for quite a while. Um, and now we're in the finale section. And the way that Blake um, creates his structure is to break the finale into five points. And so the aspect of the five point breakdown that we're looking at today is point four. So we're almost done. We're almost done with Save the Cat. Um, and in point four, he calls that the dig deep down, dig deep down. And basically, this is the part where the, the hero, the protagonist of the story, which is most likely you in a solo show, but not always, um, they are kind of having a, what do, what do we want to call it, like a touched by the divine type of moment. Um, it's not necessarily religious, but it's, but it is, it could be, um, but it's really about a spiritual experience of having faith in themselves Um and having kind of a divine enlightenment sort of moment, finding the answer that they've been seeking throughout the whole show within themselves um, or with higher power or whatever language you wanna use, but it's this kind of ethereal moment. Um, so I'll give you an example from the Soaring Solo community that I would liken to the dig deep down uh, moment in the script. So uh, Karen Trachtenberg, who's a beloved Soaring Solo community member, in her show, My Mother Had Two Faces, um, Karen is really grappling for most of the show with different traumas that happened with her mom growing up and these kind of different versions of her mother that she saw and their complex relationship. And so it's a lot about forgiveness and coming to terms with the past and moving through trauma and um, abuse and, and things like that. And um, so at the end of the show, after she's been kind of reliving all these memories and, and going through uh, her deceased mother's um, diary entries and just trying to make peace 
trying to make peace with this relationship, she relies on her Buddhist belief system to kind of go within and imagine that she's having this spiritual conversation with her deceased mother and kind of saying all the things she never got to say while her mother was alive and asking the questions she never really got to ask and trying to make peace and seek forgiveness. So it's this fictional, well, I guess it depends on how you look at it, but it's a, it's a fictional scene with kind of the spirit of her mother and everything that we do on, that we did on stage kind of points to that. It's a very ethereal, spiritual um, soundscape and projection uh, imagery that designs it and lighting and all of that to complement this kind of spiritual realm. And through that conversation, which is really just kind of a conversation with her own intuition and her own higher self, she comes to terms with forgiveness and peace towards her mother. So that's one example that I would consider from the Soaring Solo community to kind of be one of these dig deep down moments. So in a second, I'm going to set my timer for eight minutes. And I would love for you to Think about a time in your life where you had to really look deep within and, and come up with the answer for yourself or realizing like, wow, I had the answer all along. It was always within me. Or if you are a religious or spiritual person, um, if you look to higher power or the universe or God or whatever language um, or spirit guides or ancestral guides or anything like that, anything that kind of out is outside of our analytical minds you had a moment like that where you just had this kind of higher resolution come to you. I'd love for you to write about that for eight minutes. And um, we're not going to be sharing our work or judging our work or anything like that. It's just an opportunity to share and be as uncensored as you can. And uh, when we're done, I'll give you a couple more um, pieces of feedback and information and we'll go on from there. So um, if you do have any questions about the writing prompt, you can privately message me and that's fine. Um, but otherwise, just whatever you took from what I just shared, let yourself write for eight minutes and I will let you know when your time is up. Okay, jump on in and go for it. Thanks, everyone.
And just about a minute left. Okay, so that is our time. So if you can go ahead and <clears throat> wrap up your writing. And I always encourage if you're writing in like a journal or a notebook or something like that, you go ahead and transcribe um, into a document on your computer. So you're you're keeping it safe somewhere and um, just accumulating your material. And I would say a takeaway from this particular uh, point in the Save the Cat structure is really just to look at those moments um, of self-empowerment, those moments that are um, bigger than us yet still live within us. Um, these are these human experiences that are far from the mundane. You know, they're actually very profound, um, but we can all relate to them as human beings in, in one way or another. And those are the types of things that make for excellent solo theater. So hopefully you got something interesting uh, written out of that. And if you ever want to um, schedule time with me to, to look over your writing, um, just pop me an email and, and we can do that and see how it may or may not fit into the, the solo show you're trying to write. Um, but you'll see if you look in the chat, I put some announcements of various things that are happening in the Soaring Solo community. Um, the next 90-minute uh, free class of the art of creating the one-person play is happening Saturday, February 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 12 Central, and 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, you can sign up for that at soaringsolostudios.com under free stuff. And um, as I was saying, if you if you wanted to book an initial consultation with myself or with Heather, um, you can email me about that as well or fill out a contact form on my website. I think initial consultations are a great place to start so we can really set some goals, see where you're at and plan a powerful trajectory forward. Um, I also host and, and Heather hosts as well, the revealed virtual reading series. So if you wanna set a stake in the ground, um, that is meaningful and give you something to work toward, I would say to submit to the Revealed Virtual Reading Series. You can just pop me an email and say you're interested. And essentially what that is, we just have you read your script, um, the work in progress that it is, the first draft um, in front of a virtual audience. We have a robust conversation with everybody afterwards and kind of see where things stand and uh, what ideas your audience has um, for edits, for rewrites, um, what what things they really loved and resonated with, um, and maybe points of confusion or things like that. So it's a really valuable thing to do a virtual reading before you actually stage your show so you can see um, where any disconnects are or where things are extraneous or the awesome things that you don't want to have hit the editing room floor when your audience would love it. So uh, let me know if you're interested in learning more about Revealed. And uh, the next Free Write Friday, if you want to come back, is uh, Friday, February 9th at noon Pacific, 2 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Eastern. Just sign up the same way you did today and uh, you can join me for that. And again, my YouTube channel should be there in the chat. Um, you can catch all the Free Write Fridays that you might have missed and a whole bunch of other videos. I think I have over 200 videos at this point of free content to help you on your solo journey. And I think Carla had asked about the NoHo Arts blog. So I also included the link to my NoHo Arts blog. And there's a lot of different um, 
uh, blog entries on that, the one I'm doing for January, it, my editor might have put it on the site. I'm not sure if it went up yet or not, but the one I'm doing for um, this month is about the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I interviewed uh, producer Inez Worth about her experience as a producer and also as a performer um, at the Edinburgh Fringe. So it's just uh, her her vantage point. It's you know one uh, one of many vantage points, but she's really been in that world for a long time now. So um, it's a, a wealth of knowledge. So you can check that out as soon as it hits my my page, which I'm sure it'll probably do later today. Um, all right, so I think that's that's pretty much it. I'm so grateful to have had you all join me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off, but I will leave the chat up for a while um, in case you're still jotting things down. Thanks everyone.